multi-leader editing. Let's learn how to edit multi-leaders a little bit more. Let's go ahead and select this one here, point. When you do so, you see all these grips appear. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can see them better. There we go. Now, if you want to move the text, you can go ahead and grab this multi-leader here. And there you go. I can move the text location, and as you can see, the leader adjusts as needed. I'll go ahead and put it here. I can also select this and stretch the landing, move it all the way out to here. I can pick this and again move the leader here. And if I hover over it, you see I get a menu which allows me to stretch, lengthen the landing, and also add a leader. Which we had to go to the annotation panel, come here, and pull out add leader before. By using the grips, we can access that a little bit faster. Go ahead and add a leader. And I'll put one there. And I'll put one here on the other quadrant of this circle. And I can continue adding more leaders as needed. Since I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and hit escape, zoom out a bit so you can see what I did. I'll hit escape one more time. And there you go. I just edited the leader a bit. Well, let's see one more thing we can do. I'll select this. And each of these points, I can go ahead and move as well. I can also stretch it, add a vertex, and remove the leader. I'll go ahead and do that. Hover over this one. Remove that. Get this one. And then I can stretch it around and put it back to here. And there you go. It's back to the way it was before. Well, not quite exactly. I'll pick this up and put it about there. That's kind of the way it was before. Double click my middle mouse wheel and now I have everything back in view. Let's look at one more way we can edit them or some additional options that may not have shown up on this single line text. I'll go ahead and create a multi-leader. Put it here. Pull back to the side. Maybe here. Go ahead and exit this, and there you go. Now I have two lines of text instead of one. I'll go ahead and select it, move it around a bit, and as you can see, nothing too, too different just yet. I'll go ahead and hit escape. This time, I'll click on it once, double select, and now I'm in the text. Well, these are the basic multi-line text options that we've had before. I can go ahead and highlight this portion. I can justify this left center to the right or simply justify it. That one doesn't really do too much. Let's go ahead and put this to the left. And it's the left of the point here that we specified. Putting it to the right shows you that's what it's at currently right now. Until I move the leader going towards the right and have the text on the right hand side. Then the landing would be on the left of the text box. So let's go ahead and leave this to right. I'll go ahead and close, close, grab this, and move it down towards the left. Hit escape to deselect. Double click on the text one more time. Grab it. Move it to the right move it to the left and center it. Hit escape. Yes, I want to save my changes. And there you go. We've just made some edits to the text.